Hey everybody, this is Marshall. I have Batwoman with me today to give me strength. I have a um, announcement of sorts. I wanted to talk about my YouTube schedule such as it is. I have one channel that's under my name and another one that's under Lunch Brain, which is more informative videos. Um, but I think I want to uh, switch it up a bit and see if that helps me get onto a video schedule. So. I'm going to try to stagger one video that's more off-the-cuff life stuff and another video that's more informative and kind of stagger those hopefully one a week um, and all that. So right now I just wanted to talk about, um, I want to sort of inaugurate these new life, slice of life videos such as they are. Um, as you know, probably. I'm a co-leader of the ASAN uh, chapter in Kansas City. ASAN is the Autism Self-Advocacy Network, and uh, we do a lot of work here in Kansas City. Um, I wanted to talk about an event that we attended two weekends ago. We held a protest uh, against the film Vaxxed, and Vaxxed is a film by a notorious ex-doctor who um, falsified evidence, who has been barred from teaching, and is now using uh, heavily edited audio to try to pummel the CDC here in the U.S. Uh, to try to um, prove that they were lying about hiding evidence and all that, but there's, it's very, very highly suspect, and uh, the science, of course, it has been suspect since the beginning, so we had to show up and... Uh, show our concerns about this type of rhetoric hurting disabled people, um, demonizing autistic people, uh, marginalizing us, making us appear less than fully human, uh, less than fully deserving of a healthy long life. So we had to do that. Um, and it was very intense. We got some very significant pushback. We got people way up into our faces. We had always, from the beginning, we stand up, stood off to the side with our signs. We invited people to come over uh, with the signs themselves. We didn't uh, call out to people. We didn't get in their faces. But we had some very uh, significant uh, confrontation by Wakefield and his people at the event. And online afterwards, we had a lot of uh, outlandish comments from people who had attended the film. Um, and this is where it gets interesting. This is what I wanted to talk about. Um, we were there to represent ourselves, that we were autistic adults, that we deserved respect and recognition. We, um, and the response we got was very not great. Um, some of people thought that we looked too good to be disabled or autistic, um, or to be anything other than professional protesters paid by Big Pharma to be there. <laughs> I just, I'm still not getting a check, okay? Nobody has. We, This was our deal. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry to bust your illusion. I mean, we've been around for a few years now, three years now. We don't give a shit about this film except that it actively hurts autistic people and other disabled people, and that scares us. But that was the thing, if you look at all the comments, we're simultaneously too professional looking to be disabled, or we're weirdo ugly freaks who prove how wrong our side is. Um, it kind of seesaws back and forth, and we made pretty clear with our signs that we are autistic, and to have that backlash um, from his supporters, from Wakefield's supporters online, and not to have any correction, and uh, to be honest, Wakefield sort of provoked this by uh, filming us without consent, by putting that film out on a feed, um, and kind of putting us open to criticism to the world. If he was responsible, if he really cared about disabled people, he would have engaged us more respectfully. You can see in that video, clearly, we did not engage him. They crossed way over to us to talk to us, and, uh, yeah. You'd think that if he really did care about disabled people, 
if that was his true intent, his true goal, there would be some work by his team to say, no, these protesters are disabled, you can't talk about them like this, anything like that. And there were some people uh, on that Vaxxed page who did do that, and I was very happy to see that you are seen, you are recognized, and we really appreciate it because it's really scary to go up against people that are holding on to one scrap of pseudoscience so tight because they are so scared. Um, and that's the whole reason we chose the tactic we did. We didn't want to go in there screaming and yelling because that's only going to make scared people more scared. We wanted to be there to offer support for people who had questions about the film or who had questions about our position and um, offer our viewpoint. And uh, I think we did really good. We, we all did really good. I'm really proud of our group. This is our first protest. Um, I'm just really proud of everybody. So, you know, there's not much else to say. I really wish the community would be more respectful of um, the whole anti-vax community, would be respectful and recognizing of adult disabled people. Um, it's very disappointing that that's, that's not that way. And I hope that starts to change. I hope that the conversation starts to change and we will be there to to keep fostering that change. Uh, speaking of which, um, ASAN KC will be at Maker Fair this weekend in Kansas City. Um, you can come see me and other people in the uh, main hall of Union Station on Saturday and Sunday. So um, I'll be selling my fiction, my wife will be selling her art, some other people will be showing off their Linux projects and other projects. So check us out, and um, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.